Hi, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading for July 15th through the 21st. I'm going to be taking a look at the person connected to your energy, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past currently in your present are coming up in your future and yes roles can be reversed so take what applies to you the person on your mind your situation and leave the rest at the end of your reading i will be pulling an oracle message from the angel guide oracle deck to give us some more insight guidance and clarification on your situation so let's go ahead and jump right in for the week of july 15th through the 21st show me the person connected to leo's energy and how leo feels about this person person stresses you out and you feel like they're manifesting you but it's a lie you're trying to move away from them and sneak off away from them because you, this person has feelings for you that tells me that you don't really feel that way about them this is somebody from your past okay you have shared memories with this person but that is in the past here we have the nine of swords the magician and the seven of swords okay strategizing here leo like trying to master the art of sneaking away um some of you also worry that this person could be playing games with you or was playing games with you at one point and um sneaking off with other people but i see you walking away from like i don't want to stress about this anymore so yeah it's nice to talk to you or yeah you know what we had in the past was in the past but feeling that this person is really trying to manifest you and hold on to your energy here um, of things from the past so let's go ahead and look at how this person feels about you oh Also, you feel like you can't trust them. You feel like they have motive to do something. Um, just keeps coming out that way. So, you know, they spend time alone in heartbreak and like missing you, loving you, wanting to be with you. Um, four of wands is at the bottom of the deck. They do feel that you're their soulmate, but you two are spending time alone, not together. And that breaks their heart and they really love you. And I just want to love Leo and I want to be with Leo. So we have the hermit, we have the three of swords and we have the queen of cups. It does look like this person spends a lot of time at home or in their, their spare time that they have where they're just sitting around doing nothing that they feel this heartbreak because they feel they still love you you're like yeah who wouldn't want to love a leo <laughs> i don't know who's thinking that but you know i get it but you know wanting to build that life we could have had something beautiful show me the connection between leo and this person You found the strength to move on and that's a decision that you've made and you're not changing your mind for pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You're invested in other things here. We have the strength card, the six of swords and the two of wands. This person just thinks about you all the time and wants to talk to you and talk to you and talk to you and talk to you. As you're moving away, that makes them like hold on tighter because they feel your energy pulling away from them. So let's go ahead and clarify that nine of swords. Yeah, you definitely feel this person stresses you out, trying to stay focused. You keep yourself busy. Ooh, I like, I like the fact that you're trying to do this self-mastery of new things here, Leo, and not focus on them because you don't want them to have any of your energy, but you feel like they're being sneaky. Like they're trying to get me back. I know they're thinking about me. Um, yeah, you worry that this person spies on you wants to be with you you're very guarded from them 
that they spy on you, that they act very like, no, naive about it, but you're not stupid. You know that this person wants to be with you. Um, so we have the page of swords, the fool and the king of swords. You're just being cold towards them. Um, we have the sun at the bottom of the deck. You're trying to keep your energy to yourself. You don't want to give this person false hope, but this person does stress you out. Some of you talk to them very vaguely and you know, when they try to move towards you, that's where you're like, ah, no. And you just let them know this isn't, this is not what I'm looking for. Um, you're happy, content where you're at in your life. I like that, that energy of you feeling really good, um, powerful in your own element here, happy, enjoying life is good. And so you don't want to go backwards. Good for you. Let's go ahead and clarify that magician. You definitely feel that this person is manifesting you because it's a heavy weight that you're carrying on your shoulders of feeling this person's like, I really like you. I still uh, want to see. Yeah, you're like, this is over, like completely over. Some of you might have even moved on in a new relationship um, or you're just really content in your life. Like your foundation is strong and you're good. So we have the 10 of wands. We have the page of cups and we have the 10 of swords. So where you feel that this person is manifesting you because you feel this powerful energy connected to you, like what the heck it's weighing you down. And it's that you feel this person wants to get back together or that they want to, you know, share their feelings with you. And you're like, no, this is over. Like this need Needs to be over four of wands at the bottom of the deck you know they had their opportunity to be with you at one point um some of you feel this person betrayed you so why would you want to go back to them others of you it's that things just ended and you don't want to go back to that situation here you're happy in your life some of you being with a new partner here um let's go ahead and clarify this seven of swords So we have the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Sun at the bottom of the deck. You not trusting this person is because they were very all over the place. You felt that this person could not commit to you. You know your value. You feel really good. You're not going to go through being hurt again. You're very happy where you're at. There's also the fact that you feel you have to sneak away from this situation because this person is like really desiring you and you just don't want that you're guarded your heart is guarded from this person you're really happy where you're at in life and you're enjoying you know that happiness and you're like it's mine to enjoy it's not theirs also some of you seeing that this person you know they might have made a choice where they lied to you they cheated you know they stole your time from you and you have this feeling that they're hurt by another situation coming back to you and needing your happiness to make them feel better and you're not going to give them that time of day so let's go ahead and clarify the hermit So we have the King of Wands in reverse, the Chariot, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You know, spending this time alone to themselves is making them realize um, that they just don't have the motivation to really chase after you, even though um, they want to. They feel like they, I want to just, some of you, they drive by your place. Okay, so be careful there, Leo, um, because they're still in love with you and then wanting to reach out to you. I wonder what Leo's doing. Um, they need to stop that. If they're driving by your place, they need to stop. But you know, spending this time alone has made them really reflect on um, this isn't going anywhere. You're not going to chase after them. You're very stubborn. Um, and that's making them feel like, well, I need to chase after Leo. And they might reach out to you like through a text. Um, hey, how's it going? You want to hang out? And you're just like, oh, this is not what I was looking for. Let's go ahead and clarify this three of swords. Yeah, they're going, they're feeling this pain, this heartbreak of losing you 
because this relationship they really wanted, um, wanting to talk to you, and they just decided that you know they can't get back what they had in the past, but they have regrets about the past and how things played out. Um, the Temperance card is at the bottom of the deck. They're having to go through practicing patience of healing their heart here but they're in this disappointment and loss and depression of i really want leo back so they're really not moving forward to heal that situation let's go ahead and clarify the queen of cups There's somebody that's in their energy here that wants a relationship with them and wants to be with them. It's a brand new beginning. It's one that happens really fast. This person texts, texts this person connected to your energy a lot, messages them a lot, shows up a lot, but they're juggling if they should move forward because they're in limbo still over you. You're not holding on to them, so why should they be holding on to you? They need to move on. Um, let's go ahead and get the outcome between the two of you. Because they keep juggling like, sh maybe I should just wait and give Leo another chance. Maybe they'll come back. They're obsessed. They're obsessed with you. They want to be with just you. They want to take care of you. They want to give you everything that they have and offer what they have to you. Build a life with you. Trying to be patient here. That even though you two are on a break, you'll come around and talk to them at some point. There's an obsession. We have the devil. We have the king of pentacles and the four of swords. As well as the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. They want your attention. They don't want anybody else's. However you're not giving them that attention. So they're obsessing over the fact that you two are not talking and that, you know, I just want to be with Leo. That's who I want to be with. That's who I want to spend my time with. Okay, Leo. Be careful of this person. Okay, your Oracle message, forgiveness and understanding. So, you know, forgiveness, forgiving yourself, forgiving, they need to forgive themselves and move on. Um, and understanding they need whatever forgiveness is there. If you've already gone through the point of like, I forgave this person or I forgive this person, or, you know, the situation isn't, isn't going to work enough. I let them know they have to come to that understanding. You don't want that harmony and resolution. So this person wants your forgiveness. They want your understanding. They want harmony and resolution between the two of you, but it's not something that you want with them so forgiveness and understanding that you're not going to go back to this person is also creating that harmony and resolution of you reaching higher points in your life um of, of moving forward here so this is what i have for you leo if it resonates hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye